Utah Shipping was created in 1985. Um, it was established and the service started from Jacksonville, Florida in July. In 1986, it moved to uh, Fernandina Beach and has used that port ever since. This is the fifth vessel of the name of Summers Isles that we've now had on the run. And this September, uh, late September, we will be celebrating our 1,000th voyage. In the near 30 years of service, and certainly with the 1,000th voyage, there's an estimate that uh, the ship or the line has carried about 4.7 million tons of cargo to Bermuda. The cargo that the ship brings in on a weekly basis, it varies obviously based on demand. It brings in dry containers, break bulk building materials. Boats, for example, would be up on deck as would other heavy equipment. Refrigerated containers referred to as reefers, but it provides a full service from the south, from Bernatina to Bermuda. Maya Freight has had a great relationship with uh, Samazao Shipping since 1985. Uh, being in the north of Florida, uh, it's quite convenient for any cargo that actually comes out of the Caribbean, or likewise any cargo that comes out of the um, southern states. We get a lot of cargo that comes out of areas such as um, Savannah, Georgia, and Texas, and Fernandina Beach is that, it's that ideal point, it's that ideal port to get their cargo safely to Bermuda. 1,000th voyage in any line, any shipping line, is a significant achievement. And I have to say, we're very fortunate that whilst we've had change in vessels over the period, Summers Isles is a name that everybody likes. Uh, obviously, it does have a lot of its history going back to 1609. Um, but for us, we're fortunate that we have what we consider to be perhaps the premier name of Summers, Summers Isles in this case.